Another plate boundary that occurs when two plates come together is called a subduction zone. In this case, the two plates are going to be of two different thicknesses. You're going to have an oceanic plate, which is thinner, as we saw when we looked at uh, the layers of the Earth, and a continental plate, which is thicker. When these two plates come together, again we're looking at convection cycles that will draw these two plates together. In the head-on collision of a thin oceanic plate and a thick continental plate, the thick continental plate is going to win. So the oceanic plate is going to get pushed under the continental plate and that is the subduction process. Uh, when that happens, friction and heat from Earth's interior is going to melt some of that material that's getting subducted, and if it's hot enough, it will melt the rock above it and ultimately work its way up into a volcano. So subduction zones are where we often find uh, lots of volcanoes. And the region around the Pacific Ocean, called the Pacific Rim, is all subduction zones. Uh, we saw when we looked at rift zones, North America is moving away from Europe and South America is moving away from Africa. Well, that means on the Pacific side, North America is moving towards Asia. And as we move towards Asia, on either side of the Pacific Ocean, we get a subduction zone. And that region around the rim of the Pacific Ocean, because of all of the volcanoes, is sometimes called the Ring of Fire. Uh, that's going to be the most volcanically active part of our planet. And, uh, for example, Japan is part of the Ring of Fire, and they have very active volcanoes there. And that is due to this subduction process that allows molten material to more readily work its way up to Earth's surface.